Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to show you how to save your studio file into a PDF. This way you can make an invitation and save it, bring it to say Walgreens or even Staples and have them print it off and save you a little money on um, buying invitations when you can customize them yourself. So the first thing you're going to need is a PDF. Um, Adobe is really great and it's free so you'd want to go ahead and download that and install that into your computer. Uh, next you want to open still and I've already started this. What I did is I just grabbed a quick uh, Mickey Mouse background on Google and I went ahead and just typed some basic you're invited to Justin's fifth birthday uh, just to show you. I don't need this, I but I wanted to make sure I had something that was generic enough for everyone to understand. So what you're going to need to do first is change the size of your window. So we're going to go up here to design page settings and you're going to make the width 8.5 and, and the height 11. Now don't let that freak you out when you go to print it. You can print it as small or as big as you need. That's just how you save it in a PDF. I'm going to actually flip this sideways because it'll fit into the window this way. And I'm already pretty much done with the uh, designing of it. A couple things that you'll need to do before you save it is one, you need to get rid of your grid lines if you have them open. So go to your grid settings window and unclick show grid so that they disappear. Don't worry about the ones back here, just the ones on the white page. Now, after you type, or if you bring in an image that you created yourself in SIL, say you have a Mickey Mouse file saved, anything that has the cut lines on it, like the font here, you want to turn off your cut lines because that will show up. So what I just do is I go to the line color window and I just clear hit the clear box and that takes the red away. If you leave those on when you print this, they will come up and show on there. And you just don't want that. It looks messy. So now that we're all done and we're ready to save it, you go to File, Print, and you want to go to PDF Creator and hit Print. It's not going to print anything. Don't worry. And just take a minute. Almost done. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then you can rename it uh, Justin's birthday invitation, whatever you need to name it. And then just hit save. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop really quick so that I can open it and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. And there it is. And you can see that the uh, lettering doesn't have the red around it. There's no grid marks. It's perfect. So what you would do after this is you could install it on your USB. And you could take it down to the store yourself. Or I like to actually email them to Staples and then have Staples print anything that I need. Banners, invitations, big cardstock, whatever. And then I just go down there and pick it up. Super easy. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.